Hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches and I have a little piece of hair sticking up. <laughs> hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches. And um, I'm, I'm sitting outside on my patio in Guadalajara, Mexico. I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm just here for a visit, visiting a friend. And uh, there's a lot of construction, so I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading this video depending on how obnoxious the, the sound is. But let me take you to the, to the edge of my patio and show you around a little. Over my shoulder there is, the, uh, is a cathedral. It's just beautiful. Um, I don't know if I can, yeah, no, can't blow it up. But um, here's a little bit of the, the city view of, of Guadalajara. Quick wristwatch check. I've, uh, I'm wearing the, uh, the Seiko Paddy edition. But, but you know, I have to tell you, that view is stunning. And at night, they light it up. I'll, I'll drop a picture or two of uh, some of the local lit up buildings at night. It's just uh, incredibly beautiful. Anyway, I, this is going to be a kind of a quick video, I think, but what I wanted to briefly talk about was um, a, another watch vlogger. Um, ironically, he vlogs also from a, a country outside the United States, Austin Daniels. He, um, he's vlogging from Japan, and I, I think you should take a look at, at his channel. He has a lot of thoughtful videos. Here, how's that? Could be a more interesting view than just that wall. Anyway, you might want to take a look at his, uh, at, you know, at, at his videos. But he made a recent one where he referenced me, and uh, he, he was sort of talking about the the things that he dislikes about um, the things that he dislikes about watch collecting. Um, and there are many of those things for me also. And he sort of said something along the lines of he admired the fact that I'm just happy with constantly acquiring new watches and not worried about. Um, the state of the collection. I mean, he wasn't being unkind to me at all. He, he was, um, I think, talking about how most people have to be really limited in terms of what they spend and that this causes a great deal of angst trying to decide between watches and keeping a collection at a certain size. And he noticed that my collection was uh, just growing, you know, in size. And I have to tell you, actually, um, he hit on an area where he thought that I like have a certain level of contentment that actually um, it's almost the other way around. Guys, I think I need to reduce the size of my collection. Now, part of the reason that I feel that way, um, the reason you see me looking off camera is I'm kind of allergic to bees and there's one in the general vicinity now. I hope he doesn't bite me or you're going to be witnessing anaphylactic shock live on YouTube. You know, so yeah, you, my kids can fight over my, my, over my over the Rolex collection if I if I die on camera. Anyway, um, and like I think I'm at the point where I, I actually have to sort of go through my collection and reduce it by a few pieces. So, um, but for me to really make that work, I think I actually should know how many watches I own. And here is the honest to God's truth: I don't know how many they are. And um, it's not an insane number. It's not like I have 100 or 200 or 85 watches and I just don't know the exact number. I think it's somewhere around 20. Um, but I, I have managed to avoid laying them all out in a row and counting them. And um, I, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing, which says that I'm just easy peasy about my collection, or if, uh, or if it's a bad thing, like I'm literally afraid to count it out um, and horrify myself, you know, by, by having an excessive number of watches and uh, an and overabundance of money perhaps spent in that area. So I, I think the next step, guys, is I'm going to have to do a, a state of the collection video. I'll bring, I'll bring everything home from the bank vault for a day or so, um, and, and I'll film everything at once, and I'll go through the pieces that, um, that are questionable, that I think maybe, uh, maybe I don't need to own anymore. And then I'm gonna to have to decide if I wanna sell. Ooh, there's that bee, shit. Okay, I'm gonna just pretend it's not here. And um, I'm gonna really focus on 
which are the pieces that can go. We'll talk about that when I film that collection. But also, I, I gotta decide how to sell them. I'm a member of um, the, the Modern Day Watch Enthusiast Forum, and sometimes we buy and sell amongst ourselves, but it's not really intended as a serious sales forum. Um, I'm not really dedicated on any of the, um, the Rolex or, or watch forums. Um, I'm, I might have to join so I could sell a little bit there, which kind of leaves me more with the concept of possibly selling on eBay. And I have to say, purchasing on eBay uh, doesn't bother me. Can you, can you hear me over, over, over the clanking? I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video. It might be too obnoxious. But anyway, um, I, I like to buy on eBay because there's a lot of buyer protections, but I, I, I don't know if there's a lot of seller protections. So really, here's the question that I'd like you guys to, com to comment on. Um, oh, and like and subscribe, please, all of that. Please do. Um, I, it, it does something for my ratings when you hit the like button um, and it does something for my little heart when you hit the subscribe button because that means we can we can do this again but um, what I'd like you to talk about in the comments please is have you sold on eBay and was that a good experience because I'm talking about selling things that are in the four to six or seven thousand dollar range and I'm a little concerned about fraud from the buyers perspective uh, sorry from the sellers perspective when you're a buyer, you get protection from eBay and you also get it from uh, PayPal. But when you're a seller, I'm not sure if that favors uh, an honest transaction, like a really sophisticated ripoff buyer. You know, do they, um, yeah, am I safe? Can I sell on eBay? Tell me what the best way is to sell a $5,000 watch, guys. Well, this is Mark at Mark Vlogs Watches from Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico. Talk to you again soon.